Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, hello, hello. And welcome with Cooking with Camille. Today we're going to start our uh, Easter dinner. Uh, I'm going to do something easy because I can't stand a long time. But uh, the Lord give me grace to do something. So this is what we're going to have. I'm going to make some um, Cornish hens. I've got some Cornish hens here. I'm going to season them up real good. We're going to make some wild rice. Uh, make some yam patties, some green beans, some garlic rolls. I love, you know, I love biscuits, garlic rolls. And I got the strawberry cake I made yesterday. And then these are all the seasons you're going to need. I'm going to need some chicken base, rosemary, garlic powder, chicken seasoning. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of steak seasoning. Uh, better than, um, than bouillon seasoned vegetable base. I'm going to need some smoked paprika and some nutmeg. I need a can of corn for my cornbread and some cornbread mix. Some chicken base, some oil. I got some nuts just in case I want to put them in my uh, yams. Some brown sugar and pepper. And we'll see what else we need as we go along the way. I know I'm forgetting something, but I'll let you know as I go along the way. Okay, we got our green beans on. Uh, frozen green beans. Uh, I'm gonna. Most people cook their turkey tails first and boil it. I like to put mine in the green beans so it can season the green beans. And once the turkey tails are done, the green beans are done. Uh, I like for them to cook in the water so the water will give the beans flavor. A lot of people do. You do what you want. I do what I want, and this is what I want to do. Okay, I'm putting a little of crushed red peppers in there. Some Italian seasoning in there. Just a sprinkle. However much you want for your seasoning. I'm going to use some of this um, garlic powder. A little garlic powder. And some, uh, a little rosemary. And then I'm going to put a have some pepper and I got some uh, chicken base left from when I fry some chicken because I don't use pork and I'm going to put some chicken drippings in my beans to give it even more flavor and if we need more chicken base then we'll put the chicken base in there okay okay that's the first step where we're going to get started um, Put a little more Italian seasoning in there. Okay. Then we're going to also add a half an onion in there. I usually grill the onion and cut, uh, then cut it. But since I got the chicken drippings in there, I don't need to grill it. So it'll just be fine just the way it is. So I'm going to add a an onion in there. That's a half of an onion. And then we're going to put the lid in there and let that simmer. Cook until that. We'll check on that a little bit. Okay, we're going to get our Cornish hands ready next. I'm just going to do uh, two and I'm going to cut them in half and cook them. And you just season them just like you do a regular chicken, how you want to uh, season them. And wash them really good because they need washing. And uh, sometimes they have insides and sometimes they don't. And if they have insides, we'll make a little gravy. Okay, now that we got it cut, we're going to season it. And we washed it already. Season it with a little garlic powder. I got some chicken seasoning. I'm going to put a little of that on there. Some Italian seasoning. You can do whatever you want. You ain't got to do what I do. You put whatever you want on there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Put a little rosemary in there. Mmm, smells so good already. I'm going to use this new seasoning I got by, um... Robert, I, I vine. It's a barbecue seasoning. I'm gonna try this. 
see how it works. We're going to sprinkle some of that on there also. And then you're going to do both sides, the other side too. And then I got a skillet going, an iron skillet, where you're going to graze, I call it graze, glaze, whatever, graze. Uh, put the same seasonings. Graze it. It's lunchtime. And, uh, Make okay. sure to drink water. Okay, that's Alexa talking. Some rosemary. I'm going to have to get another rosemary. That one's empty. Same thing. And then the finishing touch, you're just going to add a little paprika. I got some olive oil in a skillet. Just to score it on the one side. Um, score it on one side. And you want to put the skin side down. Okay, now we got a skillet going. Make sure you preheat your oven at 350. We're just going to score it. Get it a little brown. That paprika should make it turn brown. Looks like I might have to get a bigger skillet now. Oh, that'll be fine. So let that score for me. And I was always told uh, to cover it up. I'm just going to take this skillet right here and cover it up just like that. And let that score for about oh, three minutes. Okay. The scoring, I scored it and turned it. Then I'm going to add just a little paprika to it, smoked paprika, so it can continue to brown in the stove and the oven. And when you get a, uh, we're going to put it on 350 for an hour and 15 minutes. The last 15 minutes we'll add our rice. We're going to throw some onion in there. Like so. And then I got that better than boiling vegetable broth. I just got a half a teaspoon and mixed it with a cup of water. And we're going to add that in there. Okay. Then we're going to put this in the oven for an hour and 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, next we're going to do the yam patties. I used par um, parsley paper because I didn't want it to stick to the pan. So I put it in there and then sprayed the parsley paper because yams seem to stick to the pan a lot. And all you do is you season with whatever you want. I just use uh, white sugar. You can use white sugar. And I put a little nutmeg on it. And I put a little uh, Miss Butterworth syrup. And some butter. And that's all you do with that. And that'd be ready to go in the oven. Just butter or syrup. And then we'll put some butter in there. Okay, and then it can go in the oven for 45 minutes. Okay, so our Cornish hens are in. The yams are in. The green beans on. The strawberry cake is in the refrigerator. So all we got to do is the rice and the garlic rolls. We'll save the garlic rolls for last. Well, it's going to do cornbread. I said, well, I need cornbread and garlic rolls. So I'll just do the garlic rolls and save the cornbread for another day. Okay, I'm going to clean up my mess real quick. I'll be back. What else is good on your yams? On half of it, I'm going to leave it plain. And half of it, I'm going to put some um, nuts, pecans. And then half, I'm going to leave. But yams and pecans or walnuts, oh my God, y'all, it's wonderful. So now we can put it in the oven. Okay. So we got half of walnut, I'm mean half of pecans and half without. Okay. Now I got another pan back there where I'm gonna use to um, I'm gonna boil uh, do my wild rice in and then I can pour it over the meat. So it won't have to cook long. It'll be already cooked and you just wanna just warm it up a little bit. So that's what we're gonna put our wild rice in. Okay, while I'm waiting for my coffee. You go ahead and get your biscuits together and melt your butter with some garlic and when it's going to be for our garlic rolls. Okay, you're going to take your biscuit. We did these once before and you're just going to roll it out to a long, I call it a snake. A snake. And then you're just going to crisscross it and tie it in a knot. Like so. Like a pretzel almost. Like a knot roll. And then lay them on your tray. And then we'll butter them. 
Okay. I'm getting pissed because I can't find my pastry brush. You know, you can't let a man be in your kitchen because they wash dishes and can't find it. So we're going to dip the butter. Like so. Dip the biscuits in butter. And we're just going to let it set and rise. I'll add some parsley flakes to it. Now, I want everybody to know this ain't the traditional Easter dinner because I wanted to do something different because we don't do... I'm not doing pork today, so I ain't nobody doing no ham, no chitlins. Uh, and uh, we're just doing a regular course meal. You don't have to have traditional all the time. So uh, we do got the yams, okay? And then you just add parsley flakes on it. And I'm going to sit here and let it rise a little bit. And then we'll select... Um, Base it with butter again. Hopefully, I'll find my brush by then. Okay, and then add a little garlic salt to it. I had some uh, garlic pepper. I'm going to try that. Garlic pepper. Just add a little pepper to it and some butter. So, we're going to let that set and rise a little bit while I drink my coffee. Okay, we'll check out my green beans. Mm, they smell good. Oh. See if we can break this turkey tail up. Not quite yet, so we'll let it keep cooking. The water is boiling for the rice over there. So we're gonna go ahead and put the rice in. Because we'll be putting it in the uh, I'm using the Uncle Ben long grain rice. I started making some rice pilaf, but I'm trying to do everything in a quick way today so I don't be on my feet. And then you put the package in there and just let it cook on slow until we're ready to throw it over our Cornish hands. And just mix the pack in the rice, and that's all you do. And stir it up. That's it. Rice is coming along good. Look at it. We can be adding that in our Cornish hand in about 20 minutes. And then our green beans are coming along. We're just going to make sure. cut this meat yet. Yep, it's getting there. Oh yes, oh yes, it's getting there. I'm going to take it out and cut it up. That's what I'm going to do. Uh-oh. Oh, it's coming loose now, see? I'm going to let that cook a little more. Okay. I'm going to look in the oven. Look at those hands. Can you see? And a chicken coming up. Cornish hands are coming along fine. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, before I drink another cup of coffee, we're gonna dip these boat rolls again. I still can't find my pastry brush. Maybe somebody will uh, purchase me one for my birthday. I've been bought one by then. We're gonna uh, butter these one more time. Okay, the yams look good. And uh, chicken looks good. Cornish hands look good. I'm gonna take some of this juice oops messing them up oh look how tender they are and just pour on top of that oh 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 looks good y'all okay then we're gonna get our rice cut that off and then we're just gonna add our rice around our chicken and put it back in the oven and let it finish cooking you gonna leave that juice in there because that juice is the flavor. And that rice, I'll soak it up and plus you'll have it. When we add our make our little gravy, we'll have it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take some of it out and make gravy while we wait. Okay, with that broth, we're just gonna add a little more water to it. We're gonna taste to make sure we got the flavor. And all we do is add a roux to it. You know, that's butter and flour. Perfect taste. Perfect. We ain't even got to add nothing to it. From that juices that we added uh, on the uh, Cornish hands. So it's perfect. All we got to do is make a roux. Let's get, get it hot temperature so we can uh, make a roux. We're going to cover up our yams so they'll stay hot. And look. See how it broke up? So that means our green beans are almost done. We just want to 
when the meat's done and it's gonna have a good flavor i want to taste that flavor see do we need to add anything because some sometimes you have to add a little sugar it might be bitter oh my god we don't got to add nothing perfect i could taste the turkey turkey drippings uh in that flavor and oh my god i could taste the rosemary oh my goodness it's good okay we're gonna cover that back up and just let it simmer All done. Yams with raw, um, half regular, half with pecans, the gravy, Cornish ham with wild rice, green beans with turkey tails, and the nut rolls. Look, 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 gorgeous out of biscuits and the strawberry shortcake. Let's do up the plate. Here we go. Yams with pecans, garlic butter nut uh, biscuits, but we're calling the rolls, green beans with turkey tails, Cornish hands with wild rice with a touch of the gravy from the juices, and look at that strawberry cake, y'all. Look at that strawberry cake and a nice tall glass of wine. Okay, everybody, thank you. Have a blessed holiday. Happy resurrection, and have a good day. Yams, Cornish hands, nut rolls. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Green beans with turkey tails. Them yams look good. And the strawberry cake. Nice day. Have a good one. God bless you.